Did you know that you can use just one axis of a tracker in DaVinci Resolve Fusion page? Welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. I'm John, and I'm gonna teach you how to do just that in today's video. Quick shout out to Greg, who asked in the comment section about doing this, so thank you very much. And if you have a question about DaVinci Resolve, drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer, probably with another video. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here I have a clip. And let's just say I want to track the GoPro that's hanging off my helmet. Well, we can click on our clip and click on the Fusion icon, and it'll bring up Fusion. And we have our Media In 1, which is our footage, and our Media Out 2, which is our final effect. So we're going to start by adding a tracker. So we're going to click on Media In 1. It's got the red outline. Press Shift Spacebar, brings up the Select tool. And obviously, I've been doing this, so Tracker is already pre-selected. If not, you can just type in tracker here and it'll show up right there in the select tool. Click add. Now we have a tracker. Now you could use the IntelliTrack one, but in this case, Greg specifically asked about the regular point tracker. So we're going to click on point and it adds point two, and then we can delete IntelliTrack one. So now we have just one point and we're going to grab our little icon here and drag over to the camera. So right about there. And then we're going to change adaptive mode to best match. We can drag the match tolerance down to about 0.4. I find that works best. And then we're just going to track it. And we're going to watch as, as it tracks through here and make sure that it stays stuck to the object we wish to track. And while it tracks, now's a good time to mention that I'm going to show you basically a tool that is used throughout Fusion that can let you do some crazy things. So now that that's done, we can scrub through the footage and make sure that it stayed stuck the way we expected it to. It looks pretty good here, so I'm happy. And I'll go back to the start of my clip and you can track an image, text, a video if you want, any number of things, anything that counts as media in DaVinci Resolve, you should be able to attach to the tracker. In this case, we just wanna do some text and we will type in subscribe and we'll give it a different font. You can play with this all you want. It's not showing up on our right-hand viewer. We have two viewers here, and if you click this icon, it'll show either the one viewer or it'll go back to the dual viewer. And this allows you to do the one-two thing that I do in a lot of my tutorial videos. But instead of attaching text one to tracker one, we're gonna click on text one and press shift space bar and type in trans, and that gives us transform XF. That's what we want. And we're gonna drag from the output of transform one to the out point, the output of tracker one. And that gives us merge one. That looks all well and good. We can grab transform and move it over here. That's all good. So now that we have everything connected, if we want this subscribe text to stay on this plane and not move up and down, we want to ignore the Y axis of what we tracked, we can click on merge one and we have our center X and Y and we can drag them back and forth, but that's not dynamic. We'll double click that to reset it. We can go over to tracker one and down here we have tracked center two X and Y and they've got keyframes on them because it's moving around, it's been tracked. But while we're hovering our mouse cursor over tracked center two, if you look in the lower left corner, it says tracker one dot tracked center two. That's very important, we need that. So now we'll click on merge one and under merge our center X, we can right click on the X, choose expression, and this gives us point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This is the X and Y coordinates right here and right there. If I were to control Z and then change this, and then right click on X and choose expression again, you'll see that that has changed. We'll control Z that and right click and get our expression back. Now we wanna use what we learned earlier. So we'll get rid of the 0.5 and we'll type in tracker one dot tracked center two dot X. And then we'll click away and you'll see that it's moved over a little bit. So we can go back to our transform and we can drag this over a little bit so it hovers off the helmet, right? Now, when I scrub through the footage, you'll see that subscribe moves left and right, but not up and down. If we go back to the edit page and we play through this, you'll see now that subscribe moves left and right with the camera, but my helmet is moving up and down and so is the camera, but the subscribe text is only paying attention to the X axis and not the Y axis. Bonus tip, back in the Fusion page, if we click on the spline icon here, it brings up this list here. We can click on tracker one, they have check marks. 
we'll click the show all or zoom out button, and then we can lasso select all of these and click this icon right here to smooth them out. And that will smooth out that action just a little bit. So when we come back here to the edit page, it's now gonna be a little bit smoother. So if your track is jumping around quite a bit, you can try using that smooth to smooth things out. Pretty slick, right? Hey, thanks for watching this quick tip. If you learned anything, leave me a comment below. Let me know you were here. And until next time, I hope you're having a great day. Go check out this video next and I'll see you there. John out.